In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a WooCommerce menu like this, where you have hover effects and you have this special shopping bag. From here, you can go to the cart and to the checkout. This menu also works perfectly on mobile phones, but on mobile phones, the menu is on the right and the button is on the left. And we will need a little trick to make that happen. So let's just get started. So for the people that are new here, this menu is part of the WooCommerce series. You guys probably remember the WooCommerce series as you can find on the website livefrompixels.com. Click over here on playlist and then click on WooCommerce. And we've already made a lot of episodes with just Elementor Pro and Astra. And Astra is a free theme. So that means that this web shop is only built with Elementor Pro. Pretty cool, but I forgot to make the last episode. So you probably remember this menu, but as you can see, this is still ugly and default. So let me show you how this is done. And for the new people here, we will need Elementor Pro to build this header. Because for this widget, you will need Elementor Pro. And what you will also need to get the same effect is the theme Astra. So I am here in my WooCommerce dashboard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to templates and then theme builder. So here we can see our current templates for our products in the archive. So so we're going to click on header like this and we're going to create a new header just call it header version one for example and click on create the template all right just click this one away because we're going to create it ourselves for this header we will need three sections as you can see right here one section for the logo one for the menu and one for the button so just click over here and click over here just like this you can import a logo if you want to with an image or an svg but what i did for that website i used a divider widget and with the divider widget you can add an element to it and that's how I added this little wave to the text which I can increase as you can see right here but this is not a logo tutorial but I just wanted to show you that that's pretty cool and you can make a text look a little bit more interesting with that okay so now I've created my logo with the divider widget and now we will need to import the menu the nav menu widget you probably already worked with it a few times before uh, you can style this up a little bit what I did for this website is I just made the hover and the underline purple and then this one is a gray so i'm gonna change up the styling a little bit the normal text color will be my gray color my text color and the hover will be the primary our purple and then for the active we also want it to be purple and then for the pointer which is that underline we want that to be one pixel thick and we also want that color to be purple so let's see if we also put these two on active let's see how that looks uh before we're gonna save it i'm just gonna give it a little bit bit more breathing room like this I'm gonna also put it on the right so make sure you align it on the right like this and let's see how that uh, looks I'm gonna click save to draft I'm gonna click on the eye and click on preview and now we can see the final as you can see that's super easy to do looks nice simple and when you click on a certain page it will stick like this okay always make sure that you delete the padding inside of the columns because for some reason Elementor always adds padding make sure that the content is aligned in the middle because if you're going to add margin or padding uh, then it will stay in the middle which is what you want because right now it's really cramped but let's say that you want to add some padding you can click over here go to advanced and just add a little bit of padding on the top and the right maybe something like 10 on the bottom and 10 on the top make it a little bit wider and as you can see nicely middle aligned so now for this nice button let's try and let's see what we have over here over here is now the menu card this is only visible in the header template maybe some other templates of Elementor Pro 2 but not in every template so we're gonna just drag that in and as you can see this already has a certain style uh, that is of course because we have worked with the site settings where you can set up all your colors and your basic fonts in the styling tab you have four options over here you have the menu icon that is this one you have the card products and buttons and those are for when you open this tab so when you open this tab you can see that this new window opens and that is what you can customize over here so first for your button make sure that the typography is what you want and to get this nice soft rounded background what you need to do you need to go over here and increase the border radius and you can increase this one to make it rounded as you can see you can increase the icon the icon itself by the way you can also change that from over here so card medium card solid that will make it solid like this 
You also have a basket, which is pretty cool. For now, I'm gonna use the basket. And here you can set up the background color. So if you put the background color on something else than the white, and then you wanna turn off the border. So we're gonna put this at zero. Then as you can see, the border is turned off. Uh, now I have used the gray color over here, but on my final, I think I have like the a purple tint, something like this. Makes it a little bit more unique. And of course, make sure that you use your own color palette. And as you can see right now we have this button only the hover is not good go to your hover make sure that your text color is also the same maybe your secondary color so it will change just a little bit that looks pretty nice okay let's save it and see our changes so far all right this looks pretty good this looks good and the button also works but now as you can see this doesn't look very good but you actually don't want to test this over here you want to test this in your real shop so make sure that you go to your shop link so visit your store like this uh, we haven't published it so let's just do that right now i'm gonna go to publish and then add the condition to the entire site click save and go back to your final web shop click on refresh now you can see that our menu is here and we have a few items already in this card uh, if you want to add items to the card just make sure that you do something like this click on add to the card it has been added to the card and now you can click over here and see how that looks and as you can see it doesn't look very good so that is what you can customize if you click on the button close this and right now as you can see in this preview it almost looks the same but um i have to say sometimes it looks different over here than on your final website so make sure to always check it on the final website before you're done um, you can change a few more settings over here for example the buttons this doesn't look very good as you can see so you can also make them stacked and you can even change the colors of the buttons so for example make the view card a little bit less intense so then the checkout pops out a little bit more as you can see i changed up the fonts a little bit but as you also can see there are not a lot of options over here i don't really like it because i would rather have a drag and drop in here but that's just not what it is so we have to to deal with this another limitation of working with the free tools so let's say that this is what we want we're going to click on update now we're going to go back to our store click on refresh open this button and now this looks pretty cool as you can see this becomes white which i don't really like so that's also something that i want to change you can change that in the hover over here make sure that you have the hover text color and the normal text color on the color that you want over here okay but now it becomes a little bit tricky because how does this look on a mobile phone so let's go for example to tablet mode first as you can see we have a few problems here because on a web shop like this it's pretty common to have the hamburger item in the right corner maybe you also want to add some social media icons then how is that possible because then the social media icons will be over here on desktop but then your hamburger icon will be in the middle somewhere which is pretty awkward and also on mobile even if you change the width of the columns to something like this it's still pretty awkward to have that hamburger icon over here so we need to do a little bit of a trick so on a desktop it looks like this now what you want to do is you want to go to tablet mode and uh you just want to disable this one but before you're going to do that just click on duplicate and we're going to style this one and now we're going to disable this one so go to advanced go to responsive so make sure to hide this one this first one on mobile and on tablet because this will be the one for our desktop and this will be the one for our our uh, mobile devices so if you click on advanced go to responsive make sure that you hide this one on the desktop okay so now we can change up the columns and it will be no problem and you have to work like this because if you would just work with one of the sections and you rearrange the columns then that will also be applied for desktop so you need to work like this if you want to switch up the columns i have to say though you don't have to do this if you just have two columns because elementor has a great feature for this which is called reverse column but if you're working with three columns like this then the logo will also be reversed to the right side so if you guys have a better solution for this please let me know but this is what i always do so now you can just style this section a little bit give it a little bit of space on the right on the top and on the bottom make sure that this one is uh, maybe only 10 percent in width maybe even smaller something like five that's possible uh, for this one you want to make it i don't know 25 and then over here of course we can use 70 oh 
now I want a little bit more space. So I'm gonna change up these numbers a little bit. And now you can style this hamburger icon. What I always do is I delete the background because I wanna make it more clean. So how you can do that is go over the style over here, go to toggle button, background color, just pick a color, doesn't matter. And then click on the color again and put this one at zero. And now you can see only the hamburger icon will be visible. But now if you click on it, something like this happens. Not very nice. So how you can fix that is go to content over here and make sure that this one is selected. Now it will also be aligned in the middle, which is nice. But this will say that if we click on this item, it will be a full width drop down, which is what you want on a tablet mode and a mobile phone. It's a little bit too high, so you can change that up in the distance. So if you go to drop down, you go to distance, you can position the distance and make sure that it connects this blue line to your first item because that always looks nice. So yeah, something like this, that does look nice. I also always increase the vertical padding a little bit. That's always nice. And of course you can change the colors of these hovers and everything like this. I think this button maybe is a little bit too big. So I also wanna change that up. Of course you could change up the typography and the icon size over here. But if you wanna change the button in a hole, you just need to disconnect this padding and then make sure to add your own padding for our tablet. I also wanna align this to the right. So it's nicely aligned to our grid. And now let's check our mobile phones and see how that works. Not perfect as you can see. We need to adjust the column width again a little bit. So maybe put this one at 40, this one as 50 and this one at 10. Ah, it's still a little bit narrow. Make sure that there's always enough room for people to click on the hamburger icon. So on a mobile phone like this, this button is big. So if you don't like that, you can also delete some things. So what you can also do, which I think is also a nice trick, is just leave the button like this on a desktop because you have a lot of space. On your mobile phone, what you wanna do is you wanna go to content and then just hide this one. And then it will just be a nice little icon, which is nicer for mobile. Because maybe, like I said, you also have some social icons that you wanna add in another column. So now it's just a little nice button and you can even delete that background to make it even more in line. So if you delete it like this, now it looks a lot cleaner on our mobile phone. Is this perfect in a design sense? Uh, no, because it's not consistent now. I would choose to go with the same background as on the uh, desktop, but I just wanted to show you some options on how you can make your mobile menu a little bit more clean. And as you can see, it still works. It opens in a full screen and this one also still works. So I'm gonna click on update now. I'm gonna go back to desktop. And now as you can see, this one is hidden and we only have the topper header on desktop so if you go back to the watch shop click on refresh as you can see this looks good and if we go to mobile mode uh, like this over here you can check that in google chrome by the way click on this toggle device toolbar and here you can see that we now use our mobile menu pretty cool right i hope that you learned something in this episode and uh, like i said before i wanted to make a much more complex web shop uh, with crocal block which uh, is so much cooler than what we did in this series. Uh, in this series, I just wanted to show you how you can do a web shop with just Elementor Pro, but if you want to spend a little bit of money, you can buy Croco Block, which I am a huge fan of, as you guys know. Uh, you can do things like filters, which are much cooler, uh, like this. It updates live. You can go to the product pages, like this. Look at how cool this product page looks. Uh, and this is all made with Elementor and Croco Block. So if you guys are interested, maybe in Croco Block, I also made a video about that, which I will link in the card and in the video description. I'm also working on another cool project as you can see right here this is also made with croco block with custom listings we're also going to use some filters over here so so this is the next step after you know how to do everything in this series i know that woocommerce is very wide and i can cover a lot more different topics people have had a lot of questions about very complex woocommerce things i first wanted to put down this basic series and from here on i can start a new series with a new web shop which is much more complex and cool Again, all the other episodes of this series, you can find that on the website, liveforpixels.com slash playlist slash WooCommerce. You can click over here and click over here. I will also put that link in the description. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video on living with pixels.